Hey bros, what is up? This is Jared from Jerry Gaming, and in Kingdom 13, we are going to build a bakery. And it's actually a pretty cool looking bakery. It reminds me like an Italian medieval bakery. I don't even know if they had medieval. But we're going to start in this block here. We're going to go in that corner. And if you guys watched 11, you, I mapped out all the roads. So we're going to skip three blocks. Then we're going to skip another three blocks. Then we are going to turn to the right. Or just go forward and skip three blocks and place a block. Then skip one block. And then go out one. And then back again to the original spot. And skip three. And go out one. And then skip one and place a block. Now we're going to turn right. And we're going to skip three blocks and place a block. And then skip another three blocks and place a block. Skip another three. And another now we're just going to go forward three blocks. And then on, yeah, on the fourth block. So skip another three blocks and then on the fourth block. And we're just going to keep doing that. We're almost done. One last block. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Pause the video here and rewind to catch up. I'm going to put on the baker skin just because we're building this. And uh, I have Mega with me, Mega Joker. He's going to be helping me. So we're going to take this a total of four blocks. So we're going to add an additional three blocks to the current one block that is there. So again, it'll be a total of four blocks high. I'm using oak logs. You guys can use another type of log if you guys would like. I made that one a little bit taller. Actually, no, I didn't. I thought I did. It just looked like it for a second. So, stop here. This is another pause part. Catch up. Okay, now we're going to continue forward. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take it to five blocks, and then I brought it out one block, and then I'm going to bring it back in and make a trim. So I'm just going to follow it for the rest of the way. And then, yeah, just follow it. I was looking at that for a second. The front of the building is the only part where we have the one extension outward. And Mega little beat me to it. So, And then we're just going to connect that to the side. So this is what we have right here. Again, pause the video to catch up. And I'm going to start continuing forward. So from this corner. And from that corner, I'm going to take them both two blocks high and go in one block. And then go two blocks high in one block two blocks high in one block until I reach the middle and I'm gonna continue to do that until I reach the middle so the patterns too high and then one up and then too high again and then one up okay and you guys can see that I met the middle right here so that's what we have and now we're gonna do that on all three sides he's gonna do it on that side I started here but then I realized I'm like wait why am I doing it here that's kinda a little bit pointless So I delete, I'm going to just remove that. So I uh, start here and in this corner. And I'm going to take do the same thing I did. And same thing that Mega's doing over on his end. Okay, now we're done with the arches. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build a little front arch. He just brought in an additional two blocks high. And then he put went in one block and then another two blocks high. I'm just deleting it because I want to show you guys how he did it
and I made mine a little bit smaller because that's how what I wanted. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the wooden planks. You guys can use the wooden planks that you guys would like. I'm gonna start with the outer part, like so. So just copy what I'm doing. I'm gonna link them all up in a second, but right now I'm just gonna go to the arches and add two wooden planks, two blocks high to match the side. And now I'm going to come right here on the side. And there. He's doing the same thing on that arch over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this all the way to the front arch right across from me. So now we're just building the first part of the roof. And then we'll go back and detail the roof. I'm going to finish this side and then I'm going to go over and help Mega with what he's doing because he's a little bit confused of what we're going to be doing on that. It's probably the best idea to start on the same side that I did just so you guys are with me and doing the same thing I am. And what he's doing is he's just bringing it right across. Now I'm going to bring it right across as well, but I'm going to stop before, and I've got to turn right one more block, and then turn and go this way, so it'll link up with the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to keep doing that right before I hit this block to go underneath of it, you'll turn and go again to that side. And actually, you're doing the same thing as I'm doing on the other side of the whole thing. You can see what he's doing just um, a little bit clearly. I got a little stump there for a second. I'm trying to think. And, oh, I can't grab it. Okay. Now, the next part's going to be a little bit weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to build the roof like we did on the bigger arches on this little arch. And I'm going to connect the back. Okay. And then I'm going to connect the front right here to that. And I'm going to connect that right there. And I'm right there. So it should look like that and then we're going to come around and place the two blocks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and come out a little bit and connect it to this one right, oh, not that, right there. And we're going to do the same thing with the bottom one, but we're going to follow right there, right across it. And it's going to look a little bit tight. Okay. And Mega just helped finish it out for me. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I just want to show you what this looks like on this side, so you guys can see. Just pause the video when I backed up just a little bit, and what I'm, now I'm just going to place blocks and, in the corners, and now I'm going to place stairs on the straightaways. So a block in the corner, and I am using oak wood, because the update did come out, and oak wood and birch wood look a little bit alike. Birch wood's a little bit more white, but... It still can be a little bit confusing for some of, you, some of you guys, so that's why I wanted to make sure you guys knew I was using oak wood for this build. I'm going to continue to use oak for the whole thing. Maybe in later videos I'll switch and use different kinds of wood for different things. If you guys want me to build you guys something, then leave a comment of what you guys want me to build and put it. I will put it in the kingdom because this is the last series I'm going to do with medieval i might later on when i get more big i will make a series another kingdom video on medieval but i kind of want to move on to a different type of theme and a different city and i'm gonna almost done and i'm sorry if i'm like distracting you guys and all you guys want to hear is how'd you do that i'm sorry but I'm, right now i'm making a dragon horn so i placed one stair one and then a block on top and then stair and then a block 
and yeah. And then a block. And now I'm gonna go do this on each corner. So a stair, a block, a stair, turn around, place a stair, stair, well, I meant block, stair, block. And then, same thing over here. Oh, he just did it. He beat me to it. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get half slabs in a second. And I placed a block right by the stair, too, as well, if you guys noticed that. In a moment, I am gonna go to sleep. And we're gonna do a little one right there. And I'm just gonna place a block. Uh, no, half slab, so it'll run into it. And I'm gonna place a half slab underneath of it to add a shadow effect. Well, underneath the stair. We'll do it underneath the stair. It looks a little bit better. Because then it's not touching the building. Okay. So now I'm just gonna fly over here and go to sleep. Yeah, we have all our beds up there. <laughs> it's kinda cool. Okay, now we're going to get started on the walls. So, I'm going to do just, I'm going to leave a too high hole, and that's going to be the window later on. So I'm going to do this on all the threes. And then on the ones, I'm just going to fill it up. So all the threes again, this is the little design that we're going to be doing. Oh, I messed up. Now oh, he's just going around, so I just got to place the two up. Now we're going to place fence posts for the windows. And actually, a subscriber suggested to do this. I don't remember what his name was. Maybe he'll watch it and he'll be like, it was me, but I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember at this point anymore. The comment is still on one of my videos. Okay, and then we're just going to take this three high on all the beams like so. I'll finish my story in a second. Again, all the beams three high. And then what we're going to do is place a cobblestone stair on top. Okay, so like I said, if you guys look and you search really hard, I guarantee it's on one of my videos still. He commented and told me to do it, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to apply that to the kingdom. I, maybe it is on a kingdom one, but I don't quite remember. But, um, and that's how it all went down, so that's why... I am actually using it and I really liked it so I'm going to continue to use them and now what he's doing is he's just going three high for me and I'm going to place the block if you guys are having trouble keeping up a good idea would be to just pause the video rewind it to the part that you guys are having troubles on and then do it and then pause it and catch up and now what I'm going to do is I'm just using stone brick and I'm going to go all the way around the trim just to start Okay, and then at the bottom we're going to cover that wood and cover the second layer and it keeps flying in my way. So that's what it should look like at this point. It should be three high with a cur two block in the center. Oh, he's going to... Actually, um... I'm going to make it interior, so you'll guys what I mean in a seat. I keep messing up. I'm going to put it on the inside like so. And I'm just going to fill it up. And I'll come on the outside and I'll do the detail work. Where you guys see the hole where the wood would be, we're going to add another layer of wood, actually. Like so. On the inside. I don't know if you guys can see. I just laid a torch down so you guys can see what I'm doing because it is a little bit dark. So again, just line it with the oak wood again. To bring it into the building so it looks like it's not... You know, just a normal wall, I mean. 
and I'm gonna delete this right here and I'm gonna add oak wood. And I'm gonna just break through really quick. So hard to get through a too high one when you're flying. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking of a design right now. Okay, he's saying that we should do the windows like this. I agree with him, so we're gonna roll with it. Two, one, two, two, one, one. And then fence post is the windows as well. Torch right there. Block of wood. Two blocks with a stair. And then back side stair and then frontward stair. So side stair, side stair, frontward stair. And that's and we're gonna do that all the way around on the three parts, as you guys can see. And then the one we're just gonna place that one. And don't do anything to the corners. So again, side, side, frontward. Oh, I messed up. Frontward. Side, side, frontward. Okay, so this one is not going to be a interior one. It's actually going to be an exterior. We only did it on the front as decoration because in the back there won't be anything important and it's not very beautiful in the back. So we're just going to leave that pretty much blank. But we are going to add a little bit of detail and I'm filling it in right now with stone brick. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. Two. One. Two. One. One. Two. And then just two. But this one's a little bit different. And this window placement will be the same as well. It's just like we aren't going to have all the detail like we did in the front. Like this is a little bit different from the other side. And we're going to place a half slab in that corner right there. Cobblestone half slab. I just want to show you guys that that's where it's going. That's why I keep breaking it. And in the corners, that's what we're going to be placing. So now it's time for interior work. I'm going to dig all this out. This is going to be like the little walk-in when... If you guys go to, oh yeah, I almost forgot to build this. So we're going to fill in th this with stone brick. But like I was saying, we're, the front area is going to be like where you would walk in and like order, hey, I want a cake at this time, and then you come to pick it up, or like you just want to buy a cookie, and then in the back will be the kitchen where the customer can't go. But I designed a, like a pizza oven, pretty much, because I kind of wanted it to be like Little Italy with a medieval theme so I built it and it actually works you can put a furnace in it and everything and it looks really cool and you guys will see that in a minute well not literally in a minute but later on maybe in about 10 minutes I think okay now to the interior so right here is where we're going to stop and we're just going to put wood. I would prefer dark wood or birch wood for this. Maybe birch. I like birch. I like birch a lot, actually. I like the birch wood, but I hate... I meant birch planks, but I hate birch wood. Kind of confusing, but it's pretty hot. I like it. Okay, so the kitchen, let's come up with a little thing. We're going to use... Half slabs. Stone half slabs. He's going to come behind me and do it. And I s Actually, we're just going to go with stone. I like stone. You guys can really do whatever you guys want. I'm just going to use stone. We're going to make it a little bit of a boring kitchen. Because no one likes to work, you know? So it's just going to be a boring kitchen. We are also going to build an upstairs eating area for your guests. Q. 
Okay, now we're gonna build the little door. Can't be three high, has to be two. Okay, we added a backward door. Okay, so what we did was we just added that little fence thing right there for decoration. Later on, we're going to build like a little restaurant up here where I'm flying above. We're going to build like uh, where you guys can eat and stuff, and then we'll build a spiral staircase up there. That's Darren that just don't that joined. That just joined. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a plank flooring. Again, you guys can use any flooring you guys would like, but I would recommend to use oak, um, dark, or white wood. But only on the interior, not on the roof and stuff. I would probably just use oak. Okay. Now it's time to build the kitchen and stuff. So this was going to be where a stair would be. But we are going to change our mind and we're going to build a staircase for the guests. So we are just spitting out ideas. Okay, so actually, it's going to be right there. And what he's doing is, we're just coming up with stairs and then we decide to build a spiral staircase. And we're going to replace that with oak wood. But first we're going to go to bed again because it's getting a little bit dark. Okay, so now we're flying back. So we're going to replace that and replace it with oak. Now it's time to make the little spiral staircase. And we're just going to link it to the ceiling so it looks like a support beam or something. Because I think it would look really dumb if we didn't link it to the ceiling and we just left it hanging. I'm going to go back and I'm going to place the planks... So he can just go around. And there. We're going to open that up. Delete all that so we can make that match the flooring. Oh, we can't do that on that side. We're just going to leave it like that for decoration. He's like, suggesting we just do this. Now I'm suggesting we put in that. Okay, so that is what we're going to keep. So I'm just building a little table right here. For the moment, I'm going to need a pressure plate. I'm going to use a stone one, because I really like the stone pressure plates for tabletops. It's like the marble table of Minecraft. I'm going to put a table mm, right there oh, with the tabletop. And then we're going to have one over right here by these two windows. For the love birds, you know. They like to peek out the window and stuff. And we'll have one right here. And now we're putting signs on the side of the chair. I'm going to remove some of this. I'm going to put in like some candle light on the inside to light it up. I'm going to build like a chandelier or something maybe. Let's see what that'll look like. I was gonna say glowstone, but then it looks like really not medieval, and it kind of looks dumb. I'm gonna.
going to lower it one more. Actually, two since I broke it. And now one more, and then I'm going to make it on the side like this. So it'll be closer down when I put the candle lights. It will look good. It's about to have an auto save. So we're going to bear with me here. Okay, we're going to add some vines for decoration. You guys don't have to specifically add them where I add them. You can add them wherever you would like. I'm just going to cover the stone because it makes it look a little bit better. There we go, covered the stone. Now we're just gonna hang it on the pole. Ooh, it automatically hung up. So we just cover that pole right there with some vines. They're like grape vines, really. That's what we were calling them, because you know, like an Italian restaurant, they have like grape vines on the roof. At least I, where I have an Italian restaurant in my state, they have them. They have like grape vines growing inside. Okay, so. We're just going to cover that up, make it look all grapevine-y and ro uh, Roman <laughs> and Italian. My pizza mia. So you guys can just hang vines on the roof as well, add a little bit of decoration, you know. It's kind of cool like that. So I'm going to get some cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, some nether rack. You're also going to need half slabs cobblestone house slabs. I'm going to place two blocks here. I'm trying to move as slow as I can without getting angry because I want to show you guys how to do it. Okay, I'm going to go with a different design. So, I'm trying to show you guys slowly as possible. Yeah, see how the furnace goes in right there? Make sure you guys have fire spread off. I am tired of hearing comments about it burned down. It's your fault. I've told you guys so many times, do not have fire spread on. Again, do not have fire spread on. Please, I don't like the comments. That's really annoying. Okay, so we're going to have that in that. And we're just gonna. Oh. I need to get out or something. Have one tube going straight up of that. If you guys have a computer, I don't know if they can turn off fire spread, but just do not light it. Like, don't light it. Please. <laughs> I always have fire spread off. You should too. Always keep it off. After I build this, we're basically just doing decoration work and goofing around. So after I mainly build all this, I'm going to just let it roll. Maybe I might keep talking. I think you guys like me talking. Some guy got pretty upset that I did not talk. I think he likes my beautiful voice. Makes me feel good. He was joking around saying that we should put cake there. But um, that's how you guys build this. So I'm just going to build another two. Okay, now come back later and I'll build the chimneys and add the smoke and everything else. Mm. 
Okay. So I'm going to go around and uh, just go back down and fill this up. So now we're just going to add cobblestone stairs here, half slab it, place a thing in the back after we get done with this. <sighs> so I thought it was a pretty cool design that I came up with so that you guys can actually have a working fireplace. So now a fireplace is actually useful. Nope, I almost forgot the light. I don't have a uh, fire charge or a flint and steel. It doesn't now they're flint and steels. But now we have fire charges because the update just came out. Okay. So now I'm just gonna put this all the way up, just like the other one. And I'm gonna have to fly outside and build the chimneys. Okay, so just taking them slow so you guys can count how many blocks I am going up. I'm gonna go one. We're gonna go with spider webs. So it doesn't really matter how you guys do the smoke. You can watch how I do it, but I just make it really random. So the more random it is, the more realistic it looks. I guess you guys can say. Sure, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build an outdoor patio, just like an outdoor eating place if your guests want to eat outside too, and I'm just going to go put some charcoal in these things so that I have it, so you guys should probably do it too. Just want to show you guys that it works and stuff. I'm just gonna cook some chicken, I guess. Maybe when they come out with the baked potato and carrots and stuff like that. And pumpkin pie, that'd be pretty cool. And now we're just really designing the kitchen. You guys can design it however you guys want. Mainly we're just goofing off and just adding interior decoration. So, there's really no point in me talking anymore. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. You guys are one of the best subscribers I can anyone can ask for. The Zero Nation is growing, so that's a plus. If you guys are a big fan of mine, you guys know about the Zero Nation, and it's what I call my subscribers. You guys are all part of the Zero Nation, and it's growing so good. It's growing pretty rapidly, so it's not only an accomplishment for me. It's more an accomplishment for you guys and me as well, because without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this today. And I probably wouldn't be doing videos still right now if I didn't have so many supporters for this. So give you guys a pat on the back because it's you, the reason why I do videos. So if you guys would like me to add something in Kingdom for you, I will. I promise I will. Like, no, 100% it'll go in. Please don't ask me to build a dragon. Like, I don't know how. A lot of people want me to. I don't have time to practice it. And there's already YouTube videos on it that are really cool so you guys should check out theirs and if i do get getting them i probably will have to do it but i guarantee it won't be that great so but again like comment subscribe you guys are the best bye guys
Thank you.